My first That's game. That's why first. you didn't win any flags. Oh, so you're worried about up. yourself. Yeah. You lost the game. That was just a Who fun, cares? fun Who gets fact. Who gets the brown vote? That was a fun fact. That's all that was. I'm Steve Johnson. I played 253 games for the Geelong Cats. I'm Brett Delidio. I played 243 games for the Richmond Tigers. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're from Tiger Land. Bom, 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 bom. A fighting fury, we're from Tiger Land. And that'll do. You know, like I could sing my song in a sleep. I sang it. You, you sang three words. What are you talking about? <laughs> then you, got, you, you nearly got, forgot it. You got I embarrassed. Forgotten. I sing it every week with my girls at Auskick, mate. What are you no. talking about? Where do you where do you reckon the rivalry started? Cats v Tigs. Brad Ottens oh, trade. Oh, the Brad Ottens <laughs> trade was a good one for us. Yeah, wasn't it? it should uh, we we send uh, Richmond a Christmas present every year for that one? <laughs> When I was playing, it was pretty one-sided. <laughs> Mate, we were terrible, weren't we? You boys smashed us. Absolutely yep. smashed us. Not great memories of playing against the Cats, but God, you were good, you blokes. And I, I really envied it. I hated it, to be completely honest with you. Hated it. Yeah, we, we marked it down for a win. <laughs> Before we even come out. Monday morning, we've, we've got Richmond this week. <laughs> There's the four points. <laughs> but eventually, Richmond turned it around. Just so happened to be when you left. <laughs> I didn't really cash in there, did I? <laughs> um, I think Gaz was probably the one that sticks out in my mind in terms of players that stood up for us. Well, we lost all the time, so how did we have a player that stood up? Not many did. Well, we just enjoyed beating up on all these guys that had peroxide hair and were <laughs> in the Herald Sun social pages, yeah. yet we were down yeah. the road winning all the games. You were, yeah. What was wrong with peroxide hair? Did you ever have tips? Never. Never had tips? No, never got carried away with them. Did anyone down there ever have tips? I think the Lingy, but that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Ben Graham, he's either been a superstar one week or he's been right down the following week. But against Richmond, he's one of those guys that he just knew he played well every single time he played Richmond. I don't know what it was, whether it was a mindset, whether it was the opponents, but every time he played against Richmond, he'd kick you know, three or four goals and, and you'd just see him before the game, he'd run out, his chest was out because his ex chest. expectation was to play well. Cameron Ling was the ultimate in that. I hated playing Geelong purely because I knew that one, we weren't going to have much of the footy and two, I was going to have Lingy bear hugging me for the whole day and breathing <laughs> down my neck. <laughs> he was the ultimate pest. That was your go-to. You loved getting down there and lipping up. So, you know, I hear this parrot, I'm lining up for goal. No one in Coabram likes you and I think I turned around and said, well, at least I'm allowed back in my hometown. <laughs> it is true. I'm, I wasn't allowed back in my hometown for a fair while. <laughs> In, in the end, I think I put an airbounds on the full, and you were just like, yeah, yeah. got inside, there I am. <laughs> <laughs> you lived rent-free in my head for <laughs> those three or four years. Yeah. Geez, you held on to it. I did, for a long time. <laughs> Cut me. Kai was, Kai was home, you know. <laughs> Greatest ever Tigers player, and I still say this guy's the best player that I played with, was Matty Richardson. Kicked 800 goals, could run all day, played multiple positions in terms of key forward, but then went up onto the wing and dominated. Dominated the Cats one day and nearly got us over the line from the wing. Very good player, Richo. Um, if only he could kick straight. I mean, Gary Ablett Senior, growing up, every time you tuned in, he was going to take a hanger. Yeah. Um, and he was going to probably kick a miraculous goal as well. Um, you know, averaged about four or five goals a game, kicked over a thousand through his career. And, you know, you talk to players that played with him, um, they say just some of the stuff that they you know, they just have to sit back and watch and almost just shake their heads in disbelief with what he was capable of. I think in my 100th game, the ball come over the back, I was on Joel Bowden, pushed him under the ball, thought I'd be able to take the mark and it, and it dribbled down in, next to my feet and I thought, I'm going to have to try and make something up here. So I turned my body and twisted my foot and kicked it off the ground. And I was watching it in slow motion. And I think Chris Newman was charging in from about 30 metres away because this ball was going so slow, just dribbling, <laughs> dribbling, dribbling. I'm thinking, this is going to be a great goal if this gets through. Please don't get there, Newey. And then, you know, watching it, it got over the line by about that much. And I gave the most stupid dead bug celebration. Did you? <laughs> I think so I've I just kicked one of the great that. goals and then the celebration, that's all the people who wanted to talk about after. You're it. on your back, just kidding. <laughs> I remember that one. 1908. 12? Wrong, 13. Yes. Nine. <laughs> yes! 
Was it 1902? Wrong, 1908. Yes, that's another one. I said the first time we played. <laughs> 1893 for you guys I when you come in. I should have known that. Know your history. Didn't you just give me a lecture before? <laughs> if you're here, stop the question because he's cheating. <laughs> 1897. 12-1. Stephen's way, unfortunately. 12-1. You might be good at this, but <laughs> I'll take that record. <laughs> Uh, ten times. Pardon? 157. Oh, I thought it was 67. Probably should have been. <laughs> 20. You yeah, man. Yes. You, you don't even know your own number. <laughs> 452. What number did he wear? You number wouldn't three. Know. Third tagged. I actually just thought I'd have a crack at it. I'll say uh, 182. Oh, you remember that one, did you? <laughs> Is that right? You saw this. Brad Ottens, Rex Hunt, and Gareth Andrews. That's me. So, um, Danny Frawley, yeah. Terry Wallace, and Tom Hafey. Well done, that's good stuff. You know your Richmond history. <laughs> Mark Thompson, Chris Scott, and Gary Ayres. I'm pretty sure I've got the chocolates. You'd be keeping score, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> I don't reckon you did, because you sucked up about me bloody cheating. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Another win to the cat. <laughs>